My name is Baharan Kazemi and in this video I will explain to you our new solution to a long-standing question regarding imperfect mimicry. Mimicry is when an animal species mimics the appearance of a more harmful or noxious species to avoid being attacked by predators. Some of the mimics can look almost exactly like the model species, but there are also mimics that are quite poor imitators. Imperfect mimicry is found in a variety of different animals. The mimics can, for instance, have a different body shape, size, or color pattern arrangement than the species they mimic. In some cases, the mimicry is so poor that it's quite surprising that it can still deceive a predator. One would think that a poor resemblance should become more and more accurate through natural selection, but there are many examples of maintained imperfect mimicry in nature. The question is, how is this possible? How do predators perceive prey and how do they learn which prey to avoid or to attack? Mimicry has fascinated scientists for over a century, but there is still no theory that can fully explain why there is such a variety of imperfect mimicry in nature. In our article in Current Biology, we present a new and more straightforward way to explain this complex issue. And we do this by applying well-known aspects of animal psychology. What we suggest is that predators only use one or a few traits of the prey appearance when they learn to distinguish between edible and inedible prey. The predators perceive certain traits as more salient than others. This means that some traits, such as conspicuous colors or an odd shape, are more striking and noticeable than others. And because of that, those will attract more attention than other traits. So when a salient trait is available to use as a cue for learning, predators will probably only use that trait. This would mean that if a mimic copies the most salient trait, it will succeed and survive. We tested our idea with experiments on wild blue tits and artificial prey. By using artificial prey, we could control which traits to test. The three important traits that we tested were the color, pattern and the shape of the prey. In the experiments, the birds learned to recognize and avoid model prey. And following that, we tested the birds with mimics of either the color, pattern or the shape trait. What we discovered was that when prey mimicked the color of the model prey, they were avoided by the birds nearly as much as perfect mimics. But prey that mimicked the pattern or shape of the model prey were not protected by their similarity. We also wanted to know how quickly the birds learned the trait separately. The speed of learning can tell us how salient a trait is. In our case, it was clear that the color aspect was learned faster than both pattern and shape. This confirms that the color trait was more salient to the predators, which explains why the color mimics were successful. In conclusion, our results show that predators use specific characteristics of prey that are more salient to them, and at the same time they ignore other traits that are less salient. If the most salient cue would be unavailable to use for learning, other traits would have the function of being more or most salient. In the big picture, this would mean that it would be enough for the mimicking animal to be similar to the model species in those particular traits to avoid being attacked. The less salient traits would then be under low or no selection pressure, which would allow imperfect mimicry to succeed. 